Today I'm going to work on a picture frame. Uh, I've already cut out a piece. Uh, it is two inches wide by seven eighths are the dimensions of it. It's just a scrap of wood that I'm going to work with. But the idea is that I want to make a picture frame that the, the sides bevel out like this. Kind of, kind of like that uh, uh, tray that I built here a couple of sessions ago. And so I'll start out and we'll, at the table saw, I'm going to cut a 45 degree angle on one side of this uh, 7 8 inch by 2 inch piece of wood. Well, I've kind of stumbled onto an idea here for um, figuring out the depth that I want for the, the saw blade to cut so that it will come right even with the corner and then 45 back underneath. And the way I did that was to set the board up as you see that it is and then move the fence over until the, the outside edge of the of the board is lined up right with the, the edge of the saw blade. And that should just take a 45 degree off without wasting any wood. Let's run it through and see what we get from it. too smart pushing it through without the push stick. Oh well, I got all my fingers still. Now with the blade still at a 45 degree angle, I have attached my sacrificial fence and I'm going to, and I raised the blade just enough so I would cut a quarter of an inch slot on the back side of, the, of our picture frame board. So now we'll run it through and see how it looks. came out pretty good. Now this is going to be the spot where the picture frame or the picture itself is going to set in a groove right here on the bottom of the board. So we've got one more cut to make and then we'll have have our groove ready for the next step. The next step in my plan is to take our picture frame board and flip it end for end like this and then we'll lay it back down on the, the table and we'll lower the blade to where it will just cut so that the bottom of our our blade will just cut into the groove that we did on, on the first step here. And I'll bring the feather board in to hold it in place. And we should be ready to run it through again. If this works like I planned, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Now I'm 
going to show you an alternate way. And it's kind of my favorite because I designed this jig that works quite well for cutting things at a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to run the board through the same way. It has, has a 45 degree cut on it. And now I'll just set it down in there and I have my half inch router bit raised enough so that it's going to cut a uh, slot for the picture. Now here we're looking at the back side uh, of the sled that I have for making compound angles. And so we're going to do our picture frame. And what we want to do is with the back of the board against the angle blocks we're going to make and with the cut for the for the uh, picture to inset I want that down as well so we're going to set that in like that and you see it the angle that you get cut on that thing the back side then is flush with the with my angle block and then when we run it through it's going to cut the correct angle for it and next I'll show you just a mock-up of one corner of the picture frame and you'll see how it works now what I want to do is put some some masking tape on the back side here try to make this as strong as we can and keep it from wiggling around too much kind of wrap it around the edges if you want to now <clears throat> I'm going to flip it over toward you like that and what we'll do is put our glue in here and then we'll bring it together like that it turned out pretty good didn't it this is similar to the way that I made that uh, that box the tray I guess I called it a few weeks ago and we're just using the same principle over again the only difference is we have a cutout here underneath where our uh, picture is going to go in that little recess that I cut across the bottom of it there so that's about about it for this week uh, I hope you get make head and her tails out of this I'm just going to leave you with your imagination for how you can decorate this with different uh, router bits and whatnot. Uh, that's the fun of it is trying to play around with things and uh, you can you can just come up with all sorts of imaginary ideas for what you want to do as far as building a unique one-of-a-kind maybe it'll turn out to be a, a real wonderful thing or maybe it won't I'll tell you what this project I went through quite a few pieces of wood before I figured this thing out and so that'll be it for this week and next week we'll see if we can waste some more wood make it into something wonderful goodbye for now